Let's begin, uh, why not, with Disney. You like it, love it, what? I do love the mouse tie, and I think you'd be a buyer here. And it's really interesting, today's the Disney Plus day. And if you look at the stock, certainly it has some technical support at $107. But what's interesting about today, being the Disney Plus day, they're gonna have Thor, the Thunder and Love movie come out, but they're also having a live action reenactment of Pinocchio starring Tom Hanks. So content is king. What's really interesting about Disney, I've talked everything about streaming and certainly the streaming, the subscriber is what investors are looking at. And they're looking at the end of 2024 tie to see that number near 250 million subscribers. So that aside, we haven't even talked about the reopening of the parks and all the other moving pieces, which we used to focus as and focus on as investors. So I like being a buyer here at Disney. I think it goes higher from 112 and above. Okay, Disney you like. What about Lamb Research? You know, I'm a buyer here as well. They kind of coattail our friends at Stiefel. They talked about the chips. Certainly, Lamb Research has had a rough year, Courtney, down 41%. And if you think about the diversification of their customer base, right, they have Samsung, they have Micron, they have Intel. They do have some diversification, but it's interesting. I think if you look at where it is right now, again, it's a technical component of the 50-day moving average. It's in price discovery mode, but this is where you kind of have to take a shot. Yes, I know we're not seeing semiconductors really revealing a ton of relative strength. They've fallen out of favor. We've seen take, people take profits. But Lamb is kind of those under-the-radar names that I like a lot, we like a lot, and I think it has the ability to move higher. Let's give it a quick thought, uh, finally, from a housing stock, D.R. Horton. Uh, a few phrases, please. New home sales fell to the lowest level in six years' time. Mortgage rates went up to 6%, the highest level since 2008. I think there's more room to the downside on this stock. Unfortunately, we have seen a rough year down 33%. So selling, staying away, not touching. Wow, that's very interesting. And, of course, all those uh, housing stocks, or so many of them, have been in the same boat as D.R. Horton. Jeff Kilberg, we thank you very much. We appreciate your time today.